All right, so now let's move on to packet captures and what's a PCAP. So a PCAP is a packet capture file. It's based on a library called libpcap. Uh, you're gonna see this everywhere. Most of the popular tools are based on this library. They use it for packet capture. Uh, so you've got libpcap, you've got winpcap so that you can run it in Windows. And you're gonna find that most of these packet capture tools like Wireshark and TCP dump and all of these tools that we're all familiar with utilize this, this library. Same thing with the offensive tools, nmap and all that stuff. Everything, I mean, huge chunks of the industry depend upon PCAP. Again, it's a really old library. It's you know definitely a little buggy here and there, but you know when we get a little bit deeper into packet analysis, we might jump into some of that. But like I said, <clears throat> uh, it runs on Windows, runs on runs on Mac, runs on Linux. Uh, you know, you can pick up files, uh, pick up pick up stuff off the wire pretty much anywhere with it. Uh, so definitely, definitely powerful. Um, you will run into limitations with it. Um, you know, really really high speed networks tend to give it some issues. So. You know, again, let's just kind of see how this set of classes go. And then if people want to talk about more complex subjects, we can definitely talk about some of those issues with that. So send feedback and I'll do my best. All right, guys, let's jump in it. These are places where you can get malicious PCAPs and you can practice with these. Now, again, they're good because they help you with dissecting a malicious packet. They're not really good at helping you deal with deal parsing really, really large segments of traffic, whittling it down into something that's manageable so you can hunt through it and look to see if something's malicious. And this is the reason why you're gonna see that it's more important that you learn this skill. Once you learn this skill, then you can turn around and you can apply it to all these SIM solutions and traffic analysis solutions. Because if you don't understand PCAP analysis at its core, then a tool really isn't gonna help you with trying to catch really difficult stuff. So that's the reason why I'm so fanatical about trying to teach you how to do this on this command line level with, this, with these rudimentary tools. So let's jump in. So the first thing that I would say is, remember, like I said, you've, you've gone to a customer, customers, uh, customers told you that they've had issues in the past. You wanna do some proactive looking around a particular subnet. So you inform them that you wanna take packet captures for five minutes every hour for a 24 hour period or you know, 48 hour period or a 72 hour period. You wanna record five minute captures <clears throat> every hour. So you're not recording the entire hour, but you got a lot of traffic. And like I said, if the network is maybe a thousand users, um, you know, and you're doing that for a couple of days, you easily could have, you know, 20, 30 gigabytes of PCAP files that you have to parse through. And a lot of these um, analysis tools just really aren't made for that. It's, it's, you know, it's a needle in a haystack, or there's a really cool blog post with a cool title, needle in a PCAP. Right. So the first thing that I run is Prads. So Prads, Passive Real-Time Asset Detection System. So the first thing that I do when I have a lot of PCAPs to rip through is before I even start trying to analyze them, I want to get an idea of what's in the environment. So you can use Prads, which is really similar to some tools that we've known, who, for those of us who've been in the security industry for a while, a tool called Puff, Passive Operating System Fingerprinting, or, San, or SanCP, right? Uh, Pads, there's a couple of tools that have done this. Now, for people who use Tenable Network Security, um, uh, Security Center, they've got a tool called PVS, passive vulnerability scanner, it basically does the same sort of thing. But the thought process behind this is, I just wanna know what's out there. So I wanna use Prads to help me figure out, oh, there's some Windows machines here, there's some servers, what types of machines are out here? 